Good morning, ladies. How many babies have we got in here this morning? Just the one over there. The one to draft out from yesterday over there. And my poor old broken hay feeder from the wind again. <sighs> right, ship for the fence, give me some grass and some fodder beat. And then because my hay feed is broken, it's going to put a bale on the ground. So hopefully they'll clean all that up and won't waste too much. Come on, Mum. Come on, Bub. Come on, Bub. Come on, Bub. Come on, Bub. Stand up. Come on, Bubs. Yeah. Come on. You go with your mother. Yeah. Where you go, Mum? Come on, Mum. Come on, Bubs. Come on. You'll be right. Where you go? Come on. Go on. Go on. Walk over the fence. Good girls. Here's the other girls eating their fodder beaten grass. Yeah, happy chippies. Alright, welcome back to Kiwi Farmer. We're um, just out here shifting the cows uh, that are calving, so we're feeling we've got 25 left to go out of about 115. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. <coughs> And it's, it's going well, it's going alright, I've had a few mishaps and bits and pieces, a few dead calves and stuff, but um, yeah, it's going not too bad. So, we're just going to draft this one out, and then, uh, oh she's going to do it herself hopefully, and then uh, this one here from yesterday, I'm going to put it across the wire so she can get some water, and then we'll go and shift the kale down here. Come on mum, across the wire. A closer look at the hay feeder. Um, yeah, this bit here is meant to be attached to that bit there, <laughs> and that bit there is not really meant to be all bent and buckled and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I uh, it was empty yesterday morning, came to fill it up and found it like this. But it's a uh, you see there an IAG hay feeder, so made in the UK. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know whether they made a bit light for New Zealand conditions or what I put them through, but um, I had planned on trying to fix it, straighten it. Um, yeah, I, I put these aren't made with it, these channels here. I, um, I put them on afterwards so you could lift it with the forks of the tractor without kind of bending any of the flimsy tin. Um, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a bit bent in places, um, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. Another another summer job. Well, plenty of summer jobs lining up now, as well as the rest of the clean up and whatnot that we've got to do. There are our last two lines of kale cut for this year, so we can go home and take that uh, kale cutter off the motorbike, which would be really good. It's a bit hard on the bike having it there all, on all the time. Um, plan with this paddock here, once these cattle are finished in with it, we'll get the local contractor in here with some discs and disc it up, cut all these stalks up. Um, well, before I do that, actually, I need to get the digger back and put a drain through here, maybe a sump, 
in the fence line with this next grass paddock and then put a couple of Nova Flow drains out just to drain the surface water and the subsurface water that, that creates some issues um, with keeping this really, really wet. Um, so there, once we do that, then we'll get the discs in here, disc it up, and then we're actually going to put this in a fodder beat. Um, and it can be a winter crop again next year. Um, and then, yeah, then we'll go back into grass and stuff. But we've got some, yeah, a bit of tidying up to do, which is a good chance to do it. When it goes from crop to crop, and then when it goes back into grass, it'll be perfectly smooth, hopefully a lot um, less wet, and then now uh, we can get a good crop of grass out of it as well for a few five years or so. Yeah, All right, we'll whip this fence up and uh, give these girls another break. <laughs> just over here uh, we've got a willow tree that fell over the boundary fence and um, if you didn't know stock love willow trees poplar trees um, that's any kind of stock cattle sheep deer pigs possums anything any animal just love love the leaves of those trees so it's quite good they'll clean that up and then uh, and then we'll just come over and um, throw it over the fence makes my job a wee bit easier so these uh, ewes we've got in here are um, some hill uh, triplets and just some skinny lighter ones that we um, deem to be too light to go up on the hill. So we put them down here on some better country uh, with a bit more grass and they can have a good chance of putting some weight on the actual ewe. So, and then this grass here is um, it's Eastern Tall Fescue from Agricom and beauty about this stuff is it starts growing 15th of August kind of no matter what the temperature is it's a it grows on degree days or um, light um, not probably not explaining that very well but it grows on light degree days uh, light day grows on light days instead of um, soil temperature so this stuff here is cranking and this paddock here is probably going to beat these girls like it's going to get too rank or too much grass in here so once the heifers are finished on the kale crop, what we're going to do is whip a fence from the trough over there uh, through halfway through here and just let the let the cattle have half of it and then the ewes and lambs can just go between the two under the wire and um, have a pick whatever they want and that'll, that'll take the covers down and uh, hopefully control this tall fescue a bit better. So it's coffee time. <laughs> Uh, the coffee machine's still broken, so if anyone knows of a solenoid uh, to go in here and a Breville Barista coffee machine, um, yeah, let us know. I'm struggling to find one. <laughs> but we're on the sachet coffees for now. So now we've um, finished feeding kale for the year. We can take this kale cutter off. All this is held on to, held on the bike by is uh, two bolts just in the skid plate here so we just undo them and then this just lifts off uh, the frame made up here pretty simple there we have it pretty simple and uh, yeah bike looks better now so we're just up here next to one of the boundary fences um, just could have a look and see if these trees were ours or whether they were the neighbours and decide what we do with them but they're ours um, so this block here is going to be logged uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, weather permitting and um, so we might try and hook these ones out oh, I really need to out digger back here um, hook these ones out and I think drop those ones there drop anything on our side of the boundary and just take them out the bottom here this paddock's going to be sprayed and then go into Rafno, so I'm not too worried about making a mess or um, you know, making ruts or digging up the ground or anything. So, yeah, another job. I'm on kid pickup. 
Um, just heading to school at the moment with the uh, Jenna's car and we're going to have a meeting about Air Club. So they're just about to start up. Well, they're just in the process of starting up Air Club at Cust, which is pretty cool. So we'll go down there and, uh, and see uh, what we can do to help out. Morning. Back down here at the Kale. Gonna wind up this fence and then we've got uh, a couple left to go. A couple of brakes here left to go. Bit of a claggy old uh, Canterbury day here. So we had a meet that meeting with the um, at school yesterday that I left you with. Um, so that was cool. Just organising some ad club stuff and then the pet day for Cust. So uh, yeah, and then today we've got um, uh, Farm IQ coming out, doing some filming um, sort of for some promotional stuff. So we'll see how that goes, but we've got uh, efforts to shift and cows and calves to sort out. So we'll get that done. Two, two new ones this morning. So we'll drop this. Hopefully she'll just step over here, take her calf with her, and we'll all be honky dory. Come on. Good girl. Oh, I see the hay feeder never fixed itself overnight. Disappointing. <laughs> so we're just stepping this fence over now. There's only. 20 something cows left calves. It's not, um, yeah, they don't require as much in a mob. So, one, two, three, four, five. Step them over. Girls can have some grass. They've still got a fair bit of fodder beak left. So, and some hay. So, we don't have to feed them today. Some fodder beak, which is good. So it's a constant job trying to um, keep the gorse here under control. So I've always got the sprayer on the back of the sub side here. Um, so yeah, we don't get a chance. Normally just uh, spray a few bushes every now and again. Especially if I've got half an hour to kill or, um, or I'm driving somewhere and I see something, it's quite good just to whip out and get it done. Not a huge amount of pressure out of this uh, out of this battery, um, uh, this little 12 volt system, but it's all right for these odd bushes. Here's our forefathers who brought horse into this country. It is such a pain in the rear end. Just a break in filming here. We're up um, near the strip filming for Farm IQ, so we might see a bit of that come out soon. Um, we've done done the whole talking spiel thing and then we're just gonna go and get some bee footage drive around the tractor I'm not used to this uh, someone filming me caper I'm normally uh, filling, filming myself just waiting for some action shots pick up some baleage and do all that carry on <laughs> hey pretty boy hey Jasper hey baby Jasper hey, you big critter so the guys from Farm IQ have gone and um, yeah, we spent all day doing some filming. So there should be about a minute and a half um, promotional clip come out from them with a new product they've got coming up. So um, yeah, we'll keep you posted on that and maybe even when it comes up, link it in the Facebook page, for which is The Grange, NZ, if you haven't already seen. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. This will about end that video, uh, this video. And um, just gonna do a bit of tidying up around the yard here and do a bit of landscaping where the fuel tanks used to be. And we took some trees out now that we've finally got some of the mess sorted out. So, um, yeah, we will catch you in the next one. Thanks very much. Is it a good antler? You got an antler there? Oh, is it a good one? Oh no, he's gonna come steal your antler. <laughs> <laughs>